this is the torso or clamshell model. First thing we're going to do is put it into anatomical position. This is superior, inferior, lateral, and we're looking at the anterior aspect. For quick identification, the muscle which is cut out here, which is missing, is pectoralis major. This small muscle deep to it is pectoralis minor. The muscle on the side here, do you see the serrations on the anterior aspect, serratus anterior? That's a good name for a muscle with serrations on the anterior. Let's take a look at each of these muscles individually. Recall that all muscles can be characterized by four things, origin, insertion, action, innervation. The first muscle we're looking at here, pectoralis major, we don't see the muscle, but we know that it is here. Pectoralis major originates on ribs one through seven, and it inserts on the intertubercular sulcus of the humerus. Because it inserts on the humerus, it's going to have an action on the humerus or the arm. The actions are going to be flexion, ADD, adduction, and medial rotation of the arm. It's innervated by both the medial and lateral pectoral nerves. Let's see, origin, insertion, action, innervation. We got everything on that one. Now let's look at our pectoralis minor. Pectoralis minor originates on ribs three through five. It inserts on the coracoid process of the scapula. Its action is going to be on the scapula because that's where it inserts. It is going to protract and stabilize the scapula. And this one, pectoralis minor, is innervated only by medial pectoral nerve. So a good mnemonic for remembering the um, innervations is medial does more and lateral does less. So medial pectoral nerve does both pectoralis major and pectoralis minor, but lateral pectoral does only pectoralis major. The third muscle here on the side, this is our serratus anterior. Serratus anterior originates on ribs one through eight. It, um, it inserts on the anterior aspect of the medial border of the scapula. That's a, that's a mouthful. So what I have here is I have our scapula, and I'm going to show this to you. This is the posterior because we have the spine. So let's turn this around and look at the anterior. We recall this is our uh, subscapular fossa. This is our lateral border because we have the glenoid fossa. That makes this our medial border. If we're looking at the anterior aspect of the medial border of the scapula, this is the area that we're talking about right here. That is the anterior aspect of the medial border of the scapula. While we have the scapula here, this is our coracoid process, and recall that was the insertion point of our pectoralis minor. Let's go back to our serratus anterior. The only thing we haven't mentioned yet are the actions. This is a powerful protractor of the scapula, and it also aids in inspiration. Serratus anterior is innervated by C5, 6, and 7. That is the long thoracic nerve. And when we look on the cadaver, we can see a long nerve running down the thorax, long thoracic nerve. So let's do a very quick recap. We have pectoralis major, pectoralis minor, and serratus anterior are the three muscles that we can see on the torso or clamshell model.